We're not talking about sumo today. It's just basketball. No, it's NBA. Game seven of the finals today. Is it, today? Is it game seven? How it's exciting. game seven. Yeah. It's San Antonio versus Miami. Wow. And the thing is that we need to, in the Bay Area, we need to support San Antonio because they were the, the ones beating uh, Golden Gate. So we can always say, hey, we lost in the semifinals versus the champions. And we were this close. Freaking Ginobili. Uh. Oh, so it's Team Verde versus Team Rosario. I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, after five minutes, you finally connected the dots. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, I, I, at least Ricky's already wearing the shirt. Michael, I think. Michael, too. Oh, they're also, oh my God. We're all set. <laughs> okay. We should actually get started. Okay, so um, hello, welcome to the weekly platform meeting. We should get started. The Etherpad, I will paste in pound sumo, just in case. Okay, can you hear us better now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Much better. We're sharing a headset. <laughs> this how is how they are doing it in Paris. Yeah, because we are in this place. Wow. <laughs> that's just, that's kind of silly. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so things from last week uh, are things that are on the agenda. Remove the bottom two hot topics. I did that last Thursday. I checked two mm -hmm. days ago, and there were only... I found only two mentions of Babylon, but they weren't people coming, asking a question about Babylon. It was later in the thread, uh, a helper suggesting that maybe that was part of the problem. So it wasn't people going, I can't get rid of this Babylon, and I didn't see that article. So hopefully mm -hmm. we are good there, which is so awesome. That was like, all our questions were about that. Now, none of our questions are about that, so. Yay. That's really good. Um, we figured out how to write a Russian only article. Roland has, I see a new update, has the name of a Russian localizer, but hasn't done this yet. We'll do it this week. Okay, cool. Um, and okay. Roland to start an Etherpad, which we can use as a basis to modify Michael's article uh -oh. when the new system is live. I is it think, just as simple as checking the topic and subtopic? Like it's pretty. It seems pretty simple. It's pretty it. simple, exactly. Yeah. That was the whole point was to make it way simpler. Okay. So I don't. Oh. I think we should just edit the article. You want me to edit the article then? Yeah, just edit the article. Okay. And if and you are need, we gonna get? Oh, moving on to the next topic. Are we gonna remove the old system? I know when you edit an article, you see both the, the old system and the new system. We. I so, saw an email about that yesterday, or. What's the oh, scoop there, email. Ricky? Uh, yeah, we're going to remove the old system. Uh, but I wanted to wait a few days before. before. Okay. So soon. Yeah, I, I already have the code. I just need to land it. Right, maybe we should, in the philosophy of not going too quickly, I don't know, whatever. Whenever Ricky picks is better, just not a Friday. Thank you. And yeah, probably, probably on Monday. Probably on yeah. Monday. It was Tuesday. We have released next Tuesday, so I don't know if that factors into this whole thing. Okay. Monday, then. Um, yeah, that kind of moves on to the next topic. Per product, IA trees are in place. So what are the next steps? It's basically to rip out so the old one at some point, right? Remove the old one. And we should land, land new UI to support this navigation. And I don't know where the ETA is that, because we had Monday or Tuesday, but Riha has been uh, out. Also, before we that, though, here. there's things like the topic and subtopic pages that we have to finish, right? Those are the ones that, that are in yeah, this that, sprint. Yeah, yeah. The, that's what I'm talking about. OK. Oh, oh, land new. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about in the admin. That's like later on, next no. quarter sometime. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, then it's a next quarter. Let me add that next quarter. Okay. 
Gotcha. Um, do we, Ricky? Do we have uh, a new time time frame for the UI changes that Rihan is working on? Uh, I was gonna ask him, but he's offline right now. Um, I mean, the, the sprint ends on Tuesday, so it should be at least that's the worst case, I, I guess. Okay. What's the deal? Oh, he's out sick. Is no, no. He, oh, he was on PTO. Uh, oh, earlier this week, and he had his birthday as well last Friday. So, <laughs> happy birthday! Happy birthday, everyone! Okay. Um, this came up because um, I saw this. Uh, I have run into this where I think in in some of all the messing around with topics and subtopics. There, there may be uh, articles that don't have one. They somehow ended up with no, they're orphaned. So I'm wondering if there's a way to find uh, orphaned articles. Is this just a database query that we can run and get a list of things that just need to be assigned a darn topic or subtopic? Uh, yeah, we, we can run a script. <laughs> Okay. I mean, for now, because then, well, then we can have something a little more intuitive when we work on on the admin section, so we can see articles that are not assigned to anything, and you can just drag and drop them or whatever. Yeah. Just. I mean, normally this shouldn't be. Oh, so normally this shouldn't be a problem because the the UI requires you to assign a topic. Um, it happens by accident, by something, you know, like when we've moved things around automatically or deleted topics or something like that um, uh, is, is what it appears at least. Um, and whatever, while I'm thinking about it, when we do come up with a UI for the, for the admin, it would be awesome. Ricky, I don't know if this is even how, how things work, but... Um, for categories like admin or how to contribute or all of those kinds, the ones that aren't shown in the navigation, if we could not require topics for them. You know, like if you're writing a, an article like the, the you, you know, markup cheat sheet, it shouldn't have to go into a topic. You know what I mean? uh, or can we have a special topic for it? Or yeah, or we could have we a have, that's yeah. the other that was the other that's why I'm asking. The other thing is to just have a special topic like <laughs> these things are <laughs> these are not like the others. <laughs> you know. Oh you guys never watch Sesame Street. Never mind. <laughs> Um, okay, so the answer is we do have a way to find orphaned articles, um, and so, uh, Ricky, is that something I can ask you to do so that I can make sure that, uh, everything's in, in a place without manually checking each article? So I have a database from yesterday. Is that good enough? Yeah. I think so. Um, that is everything that's on the list. Are there other things that we want to talk about? Uh, I'd just like to publicly thank Ricky and Ebai for uh, driving the, uh, the new topic Ricky. thing. The simplification of the topics, subtopics. Yeah, it's way easier. Yes, it's great. Thank you. And I believe there's been no follow up, but of course we will. That's why we test, but we also have gone live now. So hopefully we'll find it uh, and any of the minor bugs left, if there are any. But thank you. It's fast, good, and, and well organized. So, um, no, you're welcome. Uh, sorry, I, I'm already looking at it. So there's 766 documents without topics. Is, wow. Is that is How much? Seven hundred seventy-six. But uh, archive ones. 
So if I take out archives, it's 472. What else wow. do I need to take out? Uh, find only English locales? Y yeah, only English. Wow. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just print them out and we'll see what, what it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. and if there's mobile stuff, you can always, uh, fire Android stuff, you can always consult me on pruning or whatever needs to be done. So our topics, our topics are inherited uh, uh, for locales. If I put an article in, it's controlled by the just the the English article, or can uh, can a localized document end up in a different topic? Sorry. Can a, can a if I have a if I have an article and there's a there's a localized version, can the localized version end up in a different topic than the English version? No. No. Right. It, they, they, uh, we don't allow them setting the topic, gotcha. and it just inherits from the parent. Right. Okay. Um, I do have a tiny. I have a little bit of a follow up. Eba, by and I were talking about this yesterday afternoon about that um, Firefox reset article. So the the. We looked into it, and the conclusion was was right. The source of the information was wrong. So actually, very few people are coming to that article from the Firefox Health Report. Where they're coming to that article from is, it's like two hops away. It's pretty amazing, actually. So we have, and I, I asked uh, developers about this this morning, Ebyte. It's actually completely separate. They talked about mm -hmm. making this combined in the bug but they didn't so there's a um, there's a separate feature that does kind of the same thing as the Firefox health report it detects and keeps track of your startup times and if you have excessively slow startup times it shows you a little info bar at the bottom of your screen that says you know Firefox is slow you know click here I forget the wording right but they linked that info bar, which is very, uh, unlike the health report, it's not hidden, right? If you're using Firefox and your startup time is slow, bink, this thing will pop up and need to be dismissed. I mean, or it'll just sit there at the bottom. And they link to the Firefox takes a long time to start up article. And that article has gotten a ton of views and a ton of votes, and it's like 70 something percent uh, helpful. But that article, the first thing it does is link to the reset article and like what did we say 80 something thousand people have gone from the this is slow article to the reset article over the last month and those 80 something thousand people they voted that the reset article was helpful like almost 96 percent of the time it's like way more targeted so not even like not like that 80 something percent they vote yeah there was only like 114 no no votes or something. Versus 2,000 and something. 2,700, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So anyway, I'm going to file a bug today to have that slow startup info bar point to the reset article directly instead of the, this is Firefox takes a long time to start up article. Uh, yeah, that's it. I know Madalena's working on it, uh, some rearranging, pruning of, of contributor forums. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. I think that's it. Kadir comes back next week. Monday. He's back Monday. All right. If there's nothing else, then, uh. Man, get back. Right. Uh, Sweet. Get back to your day. Sweet. Yep. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.